Medical marijuana today at noon. We asked you to sound off on the bill being debated at the state capitol. And the calls came pouring into that issue and more in tonight's Voice of the People. I had breast cancer and I know that the marijuana that I obtained illegally helped with nausea. It also helped with the pain from the incisions from the partial mastectomy. I just believe that there's so many other options that we don't need this drug legalized for that. There's very, you know, a lot of pain meds. There's enough medicine out there that we don't need another. I feel that if the students have to follow the dress code, so do the teachers. So if the school doesn't allow these clothing like in Meriden for the students, then the teachers can't be wearing it. You want to see some dress code issues, you really need to come to Naugatuck High School and bring your cameras and bring your reporters. And if there's ever a need for a dress code, you want to check that one out. People who are not in special ed have no business talking about scream rooms or rooms that kids are put in to calm down in. Tell them to butt out unless they've been in the situation. They're not scream rooms. They're timeout rooms. The drama, the, 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 the way people try to portray these things, they're like some screaming maniac kids in there. They're, they're rooms to control the kids because they're a little out of hand. But they're not scream rooms. They are timeout rooms. Okay? Could you please pass that on to the rest of the people? Let go of the drama here. All right, you got something you want to sound off about, big stories, things going on you like or don't like, you can just call our Voice of the People hotline. That's the number 203-212-WTNH, and we'll air some of your messages weekdays right here at the end of the 530 newscast.